Hi friends, welcome to my video. Today we are going to deal with radiology department, an introduction to the radiology department. The radiology department basically has two wings, that is radio diagnosis and radiotherapy. The department of radio diagnosis is associated with generation of grayscale images in order to diagnose pathologies and diseases. So in radio diagnosis, grayscale images are produced which are read by a radiologist who is a doctor specialized in radiology. So he reads the images and prepares report. Based on the images and the report prepared by the radiologist, the diagnosis of the disease condition is done. In radiotherapy department, it is associated with cancer treatment or cancer therapy. So in radiotherapy, what we do is we kill or burn a tumor uh, or a cancerous tissue with the help of radiations. Now, in radio diagnosis, we can find different modalities. So these are all the different modalities that we have in radio diagnosis. So we have X-ray, CT, ultrasonography, MRI, fluoroscopy or CR, nuclear medicine, interventional radiology. So these are all the different modalities we see in radio diagnosis. Now, X-ray department or the department of X-ray is one of the most important department in radio diagnosis. The department of X-ray is associated with taking two-dimensional images where we can look through tissues to examine bones, cavities and foreign bodies. So using X-ray, we can find out the uh, fractures in the bones. We can also diagnose foreign bodies, etc. Come to CT. In CT, we take cross-sectional images. So in CT, we can, uh, it is possible to visualize bones as well as soft tissues. Also, we can use intravenous contrast agents for better delineation of the structures. So we can use intravenous contrast agents, oral contrast agents, rectal contrast agents. So contrast agents are radio-opaque substances which are meant to provide better delineation or details of certain body structures. What is the difference between X-ray and CT? In X-ray, we get a two-dimensional projection of the organ being studied or of the body area being studied. In CT, we get cross-sectional images. For example, if you take an apple and take a picture of it, now if you're going to take an X-ray, what you, get, you will get? You will get a single image and in that image, you can see all the seeds and all the structures inside the apple. Now, in CT, what we get, if we cut apple into different slices, okay, and if we take picture of each slice, so that is how we get image in CT. So we get multiple images, that is we get multiple slice images of a particular body part. In X-ray, we have, we use different views, AP view, PA view, lateral view, oblique views. So this is how we generate images in X-ray. In CT, we take different slices, axial slices, sagittal slices, coronal slices. So this is the same modality, uh, method of imaging in MRI as well. The difference is that CT uses X-rays, whereas MRI uses magnetic property. The third modality is ultrasonography. Ultrasonography is a technique which uses high frequency sound waves in order to generate grayscale images of the body organs. So the radio uh, ultrasonography department is basically associated with gynecology and obstetric scans, pediatric scans, then also to del delineate abdominal structures, vascular structures or uh, vascular conditions. In ultrasonography, we do not have ionizing radiations. We use non-ionizing radiation and hence it is considered safe for pregnant ladies as well as for pediatric patients. Now MRI. MRI uses 
superconducting magnets in order to generate images. So in CT and MRI, we get cross-sectional images. Even in MRI, we can generate axial, sagittal, coronal images. The difference is CT uses X-rays or ionizing radiation, whereas MRI, there is no ionizing radiation. Instead, we use superconducting magnets in order to derive images. Now, fluoroscopy or CR. Fluoroscopy is associated with use of x-rays in order to produce real-time moving images. So the fluoroscopy is used for special radiographic procedures like barium meal, barium enema, uh, entroclysis, etc. HSG and all that. So fluoroscopy is a modality where we use x-rays to produce real-time moving images. CM is an advanced version of fluoroscopy. We use CM in uh, orthopedic surgeries, in cath labs, and also to perform certain interventional procedures. So even in CM, we get real-time moving images. Then we have nuclear medicine. So nuclear medicine is a special branch of radio diagnosis where we use radionuclides in order to diagnose certain disease conditions. So in nuclear medicine, we use radioactive traces which can be administered to examine how the body and organs functions. Certain radioisotopes can also be administered to treat particular cancers such as thyroid cancer. So the main equipments associated with nuclear medicine is PET scanner, that is positron emission tomography scanner and gamma camera. So in nuclear medicine, we inject a radionuclide into the patient's body and we take images of the organ to diagnose diseases. The next branch of uh, diagnostic radiology is interventional radiology. So interventional radiology, we perform small incision procedures such as angiography, angioplasty, etc. So this is all about the department of radio diagnosis. So this is just an introduction. We can go detail into each modality. Now come to radiotherapy. As I said, radiotherapy is a department associated with the treatment of cancer. We know that the different can uh, cancer treatment procedures are uh, surgery, then we have chemotherapy, and then radiotherapy. So radiotherapy is one of the treatment procedures for cancer. So the main machines associated with radiotherapy is linear accelerator, cobalt-60, cesium-137. So in radiotherapy, what we do is we uh, uh, try to kill or destroy the tumor cells or the malignant tissues with the help of radiations. So the amount of radiation used in radiotherapies is comparatively higher than radiodiagnosis. In radiodiagnosis, we use Ionizing radiations in X-ray department, CT department, fluoroscopy, CM, and nuclear medicine. Whereas in ultra, uh, also interventional radiology. Whereas in ultrasonography and MRI, no ionizing radiations are used. Now, ultrasonography is the main modality for performing diagnostic procedures or performing scans on pregnant ladies and pediatric patients. So this is all about the radiology department. In the coming videos, we shall discuss detail about each of the departments and also about the equipments. I hope this video has been beneficial for you. If you find it useful, please, please subscribe. Thank you and have a great day.